Let's take a look at question number one in the DS section of the 2015 official guide. The question asks what the absolute value of x is. In this question, we have one variable. And since we need as many equations as we do of the variables, in this question, we need one equation. Looking at the conditions, condition one gives us one equation. And condition two also gives us one equation. So mathematically speaking, the chances that D becomes our answers, answer increases. Okay, taking a look at them individually, condition one says that X is equal to the negative value of the absolute value of X. This implies that X should be less than zero, but there are so many ways that X could be less than zero. X could be negative one, negative two, and so on. So one by itself is not a sufficient condition. What about condition two? It says that x squared is equal to four. Now put this another way, and it says that x squared is equal to two squared. So this implies that x is either equal to negative two or positive two. But remember, in this question, what we want to know is the absolute value of x. So whether we take the absolute value of negative 2 or the absolute value of positive 2, the answer is going to be 2. So condition 2 is sufficient and B becomes our answer. This sort of problem solving approach is called the variable approach method.